Welcome back. In this video, I'm finally getting on with the shear clamps. And what I'll specifically be doing is cutting and bonding the CNC shaped shear clamps. Back in Temptress Build 55, I had a failed attempt at creating the shear clamps out of straight timbers that I was trying to bend to shape. To improve upon the process and the design, Dan Lee redesigned a shear clamp to be made of CNC shaped components. The total thickness of the three layer shear clamp is 44 millimeters, which equals 14 eighths of an inch. To do this out of three layers, I have the first layer set at 5 eighths inch, the second layer at 4 eighths or half inch, and the third layer at again 5 eighths of an inch. This gave me a great opportunity to use my new power planer. I uploaded the DXF files into Shaper Studio and cut out the parts using the Shaper Origin. It took me three passes to cut out each part. In this view, you can see the Shaper Origin where I follow the path of the CNC outline. Using the Shaper Origin for this type of work is quite time consuming. For the 10 components that are needed to make a single layer of the shear clamp, I estimate that I have about two hours of setting up and cutting with the Shaper Origin. What I do like is the ability to place each design onto the board to maximize the usage of the lumber. Here is just another view of me cutting out the components with the Shaper Origin, but this time replayed at 8x speed. But let's be honest, you're not here to watch me cut out boards. This channel is famous for one thing and one thing alone, bonding boards together with thickened epoxy. And the first step to bonding is laying out all of the components on a large flat surface. In Dan Lee's video, he commented how large these uh, shear clamps are that they barely fit into his workshop. Well. Truth is, they don't really fit into my garage at all, so I had to move furniture around and I'm going to bond these in my living room. And to give you an idea of what this looks like as I walk it through, that's the shear clamp. And unfortunately, there's no snow here on January 10th in Minnesota. Here, I just wanted to dry fit each of these scarf joints to see that everything would fit together before I bond it. And you can see, because I'm in my house, I'm gonna put plastic under it and hopefully not make a complete mess. As always, I first coat the bonding surfaces with unthickened West System Epoxy. But I quickly learned that it would be better to use a smaller brush.
and then I use epoxy thicken with colloidal silica. I could have used a high density filler, it was just a matter of choice. The next day, I simply remove the clamps and the polyethylene film. This was layer two, which will be sandwiched between layers one and layers three. I'll clean the epoxy off of the surface joints at a later date. In my next video, I'll bond laminates one and three. Till then, cheers.